President Yoweri Museveni has commissioned a pharmaceuticals warehouse at Kajansi and emphasized the need for Uganda and Africa to develop the pathogen economy, which he says is a big business globally. I was looking at the figures. The global business of pharmaceuticals is 1.4 something trillion dollars. The global business of all this, of the medicines, the vaccines, is 1.4 something trillion dollars. Of that, Africa makes only about 40 billion, 40, 50 billion. This is not good. This is how Africa lags behind all other continents. And here we are going to get out of that. We are doing everything possible to make the drugs here. To invent new ones. The president said that the need for the country to strengthen disease prevention mechanisms is key to development. Would, in, would include preventing sicknesses and, and treating the few that are not preventable. That's what, that's what the education should be about. But not specialize in allowing people to be sick and encouraging them to be sick and then you, you wait for them in the hospital. This is not, uh, this one it takes a lot of resources unnecessary, unnecessary. And of course you are not short of sicknesses because the other ones, the, the, what you call the non-communicable diseases, are coming up also in Uganda. Because you are getting richer, and now we are getting the, 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 the disease of richness, hypertension, what have you, all those, all those are coming up. So, of course, even those ones are also preventable, as you know, many of those. The Minister for Health, Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng, commended government for supporting National Medical Store to increase on the volume of essential medicines and medical supplies. For example, in 2012, the volume of essential medicines and health supplies handled by national medical stores was 185.5 billion Uganda shillings. Currently, the volume of essential medicines and health supplies handled by national medical stores as of June 2022 is 2 trillion 38 billion. That is the magnitude of the increase. Health development partners commended government for acquiring the state-of-the-art pharmaceuticals warehouse on grounds that it will improve efficiency in the health supplies chain. The investments that the Global Fund and other partners have made in Uganda's health system have been bolstered by your strong and visible leadership, Your Excellency, as evidenced by the health priorities in Uganda's Vision 2040 and all prior national development plans. This is really critical for the Global Fund because, as many of you know, Global Fund investments are based on country priorities. Uh, and so having the country leadership really visible and making these decisions is important for the Global Fund. I congratulate you and the government of Uganda on accomplishing yet another milestone in improving services for the country's people. This milestone the completion and the inauguration today of a new warehousing facility for national medical stores will help ensure that much needed medicines and health supplies are properly managed from receipt to storage and onward until their ultimate delivery to the health facilities and use by those in need. The United States supports the governments of Uganda's objective of strengthening the public health supply chain to ensure consistent availability of essential medicines and health supplies for the Ugandan people. This highly automated pharmaceuticals warehouse was constructed at a cost of 59.58 billion shillings by government with support from development partners and is a center of excellence in central vaccine management. 
This warehouse has capacity of 30,000 pallet positions for ambient temperature, and it also has a cold room capacity of up to 4,200 cubic uh, liters that is for the cold uh, items that we'll be receiving and warehousing in this place. This effectively increases our storage capacity fourfold, thus giving NMS the capacity to serve our people much better than the current capacity that we have. National Medical Stores is a government agency with a mandate to procure, store, and distribute essential medicines and health supplies. Joshua Kagoro, Adia Nakuti, UBC News.